do you know what I want to do? I'm thinking of having storms form in this area and then have like actual lightning bolts striking down just to give it a bit of ambience. Also, and this is a point my mom brought up in a conversation I was having earlier today, is I want to turn the sky on and I'm just going to go for a generic sunny sky for now um, because basically the game will have a day-night cycle and we can code that later. But for now, what I've been thinking about is doing a, uh, just putting the sky in for now, because I, I've, I had it as a kind of black box for the longest time. So if we go here to the camera, we can just kind of choose a kind of friendly blue, just relaxing blue. And not too bright, maybe a little bit of a light blue. So if we check that out, that'll automatically put this blue up here. But I'll show you the problem with that. So the problem with that is my fog. As you can see, the fog is black fog. So in the far distance, our mountains are black rather than linked to the blue. Um, probably for accuracy, the fog should be like a dark blue um, to give that kind of distance fog appeal, or it should blend with the sky. So maybe I'm just gonna make this big screen so everyone can see. So what we're dealing with is over here. So you can see I've got this kind of blue sky in the background. And then we can give the mountains uh, kind of a proper filter that connects it. Then the distance fog won't have that problem anymore. Obviously when it was all black, uh, you, that wasn't really visible. So if I go here, we go into our lighting settings open that, go to environment, and you can see here we can choose the fog color. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to color drop the same color we did for the sky, 